What is up, everybody? Welcome back once again to Hot Toys Hotline. As always, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are currently sitting at about 450 subscribers, and we have a current goal of 500 subscribers. So help us get to that goal, subscribe to the channel, and consider dropping a like on this video if you enjoyed this video. Guys, today I have a fun one for you. We are unboxing and reviewing the Sideshow exclusive Stealth Suit 2.0 Captain America. Also, we will be comparing it to the other two Endgame Captain America releases, being the first Endgame release and the 2012 Captain America, so stay tuned for that. Let's jump down to the light box and take a closer look at the figure and everything that he includes. All right, my friends, here we are in the light box with the Hot Toys Stealth Suit Captain America from the Avengers Endgame. This is a Sideshow exclusive, limited to 300 pieces, which is very surprising. I did quickly take it out of the art box. The Marvel boxes are a pain in the butt. I wasn't going to open that on camera, uh, but you can see how he's situated here inside the inner clamshell. I have all of the accessories still where they are when you first open them from the packaging. Um, but I'm not going to bore you or drive you all crazy as you watch me take everything out and pull all the plastic off. So I will get everything out, including the figure and all the accessories, and we will take a closer look at the details. Alright everybody, here we are with all of the accessories and the figure taken out of the box. Of course, in typical Hot Toys Hotline fashion, I like to tease you all and show you the figure after we go through all of the accessories. So that is of course what I'm going to do today. Um, so let's start with the accessories, guys. First, I figure we start right off the bat with the first Avenger, Captain America, his shield, the most important symbol of Captain America. Uh, it looks really, really nice. Typical for Hot Toys Captain America figures. I will say, and I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, you can see I have like these weird scuffs around the edge on my shield. You can see even one even worse right there. Um, I don't think that's intentional. It almost looks like some residue, so maybe after I get off camera, after this video is done, I'll try to get that off with some soap and water. I did want to point that out to you guys because uh, sometimes defects happen. Uh, lately it seems like more often than not, but uh, I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Of course, if we flip it over, uh, I'm not really a huge fan of the system that Hot Toys uses for these clips to go around his forearm to hold the shield. Um, I have had one broken in the box before on my 2012 cap, and I've seen a lot of people say these are breaking on them, so be very careful if you get this figure or any other Captain America figure, for that matter, that uses this system, um, because the clips are very brittle, because they are like real clips, and they push down into here, so be very, very careful with that. All right, moving on to the hands. Of course, we have our spare wrist pegs, as always. You guys know these definitely come in handy if you break one, or if one gets stuck in a hand, you don't feel like messing with it grab your spare wrist pegs. That's what they're there for. Um, obviously, if you don't have to use them very often, you're going to build up quite a collection as you continue to collect Hot Toys figures, so that's really cool. Um, in terms of hands, guys, we don't have that many. Of course, there are two pre-installed on the body, and you will see that once we get to the figure portion of the video. Um, nice detail, of course. You can see that skin tone uh, through the holes in the glove and on the fingertips. The glove looks really nicely painted. I have no complaints about that but really, really well done. And obviously that's just kind of like an open, kind of relaxed hand or a gesturing hand, however you want to use that. And then we have kind of the same hand mirrored on both sides, you can see here. Um, and this is of course the shield holding hand. Or if you have any other accessories that you want to put him with that don't normally come with him, uh, you can certainly use those. But that's your shield holding grasping hands. And that's it for the hands. Uh, also guys, I completely forgot to show this with the shield. Um, this is basically what you use to mount the shield to his back, which is probably how I will have mine posed. I think that's a really good look, and my other two caps are just kind of holding their shield. So that is how you mount the shield to his back. Obviously, this clips onto the back like that. Really, really cool that they include that. Uh, next, guys, we're going to move on to the two swap-out mouth plates. Now, of course, this is not for the normal head sculpt that it includes. This is for the helmeted sculpt. You can actually swap out the mouthpiece. Uh, this one always creeped me out. This isn't the first time they've done this one, but... Uh, Definitely a lot of teeth. This one is very uh, fitting for the other Endgame figure that was seen in the final scene in the final battle. Uh, this would be more fitting, but uh, definitely cool that they include it nonetheless. And then we have more of a relaxed, like, teeth gritting sculpt. Of course, really, really beautiful paint apps on both of these. They look like real teeth. I do like that they applied some gloss to those teeth so they look more realistic and wet, as any human being's teeth would. 
Um, you can see here on the back there is a magnet inside and that's how it magnetizes to the face plate. Um, next guys, of course, can't have Steve Rogers without Peggy Carter, the love of his life. And you can see here, in very small fine details, they have recreated the compass that Steve carries in his pocket, which features a picture of Peggy Carter on the inside. Excuse me, I just bumped my light box. Um, this does close, which is really cool. Definitely a very small, brittle accessory, so be very careful. This isn't the first time they've done this, so this is a reused accessory. But once again, you can't have uh, Steve Rogers without Peggy Carter. And if you guys have seen Avengers Endgame, you see how important Peggy really is to Steve because he goes back in time and lives out his old age just to be with Peggy for one last time. So this is really, really cool. I love they include this. This does look like real metal here on the end, but it is not. It's just really nicely painted by Hot Toys. Love this accessory. Next, guys, we'll move on to the display base. Of course, this is your typical, like, stop sign shaped display base. Uh, I don't know if it's coming off on camera. You can kind of see it. It's a very nice metallic finish on here. Very sparkly and shiny. I really do dig this. Of course, I always say I love the metal nameplate, so I wish they would do that with the Marvel stuff more often. But with that being said, this is still a very clean and nice display base. Underneath, we just have our normal licensing information. And of course, it does come with your typical uh, crotch grabber. So nothing crazy there. Uh, let's save the best for last. Here is your Steve Rogers head sculpt. Now, we will be doing a comparison between the other Endgame Captain Americas later in the video, but I believe, just off the top of my head, I believe this is the same head sculpt as the uh, 2012 Captain America. And I'll kind of slowly pan around here so you guys can see the fine details in the hair and such. You can see really, really nice sculpted hair from Hot Toys, as always. They're getting better and better as the days go on with their sculpted hair. And it looks more and more like real hair with every release, in my opinion. You can see it's very, very nice. And I think this is 100% Chris Evans, in my opinion, from every single angle. Absolutely beautiful and very, very beautifully painted. As always, there's some nice, nice depth in that skin. I'll try to get a little bit closer. Of course, always we have the glossy eyes to make them look more realistic. No complaints there. This is a beautiful head sculpt. And finally, guys, kind of the star of the show when it comes to this release of Captain America, we have the damaged Thanos gauntlet. For those that have seen the film, you know that in the beginning, when they return to Thanos to try to get the stones back after he snapped his fingers, he tells them he uses the stones to destroy the stones. So even after they cut his arm off and took the gauntlet from him, this is what they are greeted with, an empty gauntlet, completely destroyed and in ruin. And you can see Hot Toys has spared no expense here with the detail. It looks crumbled, cracked, destroyed, used. It looks absolutely amazing. This is one of the main reasons I wanted to pick up this figure. This is a huge selling point for me. Um, one downside, though, you cannot put it on your Thanos figure. So for those of you that were uh, planning on making customs, you'll have to make some alterations to this to get it to fit on a Thanos body. However, this is still really cool and I plan on having Steve holding it in his hand because I think this is such an awesome accessory and this is what made me want this figure so bad. But alright, enough about this gauntlet. I'm going to go grab Steve, we're going to take a look at the figure, and I'll point out all the details and we'll go over the articulation. Alright, now here we are with the figure itself. This is of course our Stealth Suit Captain America 2.0. Yes, 2.0. There was an original release that came as a 2-pack with kind of a normally dressed Steve Rogers in a, I think, blue jacket. Um, and that's a really nice set. However, guys, with this new one, I can definitely see a lot of improvements. Even though I don't own the original one, just seeing some comparison photos, you could see a lot of changes that were made between that release and this release. One of the biggest ones, guys, and I'm not sure if a lot of you know this, but many years Hot Toys has kind of struggled with the proportions on Captain America and they didn't quite dial it in in my opinion until we got that first Endgame Captain America release and of course that does translate over to this figure as well and then this also is an Endgame release this is actually the third Endgame Captain America we have received from Hot Toys believe it or not um, you can see of course the helmeted sculpt looks incredible and even being that it is mostly covered by a helmet you could see that Chris Evans likeness through and through in my opinion both from the side and from the front that looks really really nice in my opinion i will probably display mine with the head sculpt just because i have my regular endgame captain america with this masked helmet so i'd probably put them with the head sculpt personally but it's really nice that it not only comes with this but you also get those swap out mouthpieces that we saw earlier um, but again really really nice detail on that head sculpt you can see 
all around there is just detail upon detail we can even look at the top of the helmet if you want to there we go absolutely beautiful you can see some nice scarring and weathering on the top of the helmet Moving down to the torso area, again, the proportions look absolutely amazing. That kind of bulky, tapered look from the waist up to the shoulders is absolutely spot on, in my opinion. This is definitely the closest they have gotten to the proportions from the movie, in my opinion. It looks absolutely great. I love this metallic silver that goes across the chest on the star and across the stripes that go all the way across to his shoulders. You can see you have your shield logo here on the side. That is super cool in my opinion. Sorry, that was kind of covering up the light there. And you can see that kind of woven detail all throughout the suit. Really, really nice fine detail. You can see in the abdomen area, really, really nice stitching and stitch work all around. It looks absolutely beautiful. And also, this is my favorite part. You have this American flag here on the side with Rogers, obviously being Steve Rogers' last name embossed on this arm here. And if we turn it around the back, you can see all of that beautiful detail translates over to the back. This here does feel like a pleather, guys. I know a lot of you always have that question. This, of course, is pleather because we are still on the pleather kick, unfortunately, with Hot Toys. Even though they have been improving here and there, uh, they are still using pleather. This is like a plastic painted to look like metal. Um, but, of course, it looks absolutely beautiful in the back here as well. Really, really nice stitching and fine detail in these panels. On the belt... Nothing special. This is what we normally see from the Captain America figures, but still really well done. It does move up and down. You can kind of position it how you want it. Again, plastic pieces painted to look like real metal, which they absolutely do. Hot Toys has definitely nailed that. And you can see all the different pouches and such. Uh, around the back here, it does look like a button, so I imagine that's pretty easy to take off. I'm not going to do it for the purposes of this video, but if you would like to, um, go right ahead. You can see we kind of have America's ass there. Of course, the 2012 cap is the ultimate America's ass, but uh, they gave him a little bit of padding back there. I think that will pass for America's ass. Um, in terms of what is installed on the figure for the hands, they're both kind of like these clenched fists for both the left and the right. Um, of course, as I mentioned earlier, the details are really, really nice, so no complaints there. Here we have the pants area. Same great stitching. We have these awesome knee pads that are like a hard plastic. Um, if we rotate around here, we have some pockets and some nice color detail going down the sides. Um, really, really well done from Hot Toys. And of course, as always with Cap, we do have our beautiful split cut boots that allows you to kind of pose the feet whatever which way you would like to with no restrictions whatsoever. Um, while we're talking about posing, let's get into the posing of this figure. In terms of the head, we do have our normal 360 swivel, no issues there. You can still see I have the plastic on there because I haven't taken the head off. Uh, forward, uh, the chin's almost down to the chest. I have no complaints about that. You could see side to side, plenty of rotation. I think that's good enough for most of you. Uh, in terms of the arms, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not a huge fan of the, the at least the joints on the arms that I'm feeling right now. It's got a bit of like a dead zone in it and you hear like a little bit of a pop. You guys can kind of hear that hopefully on camera, but it's not ratcheted. There's no ratchets in there. It doesn't feel loose, but it's not very sturdy either. Let's see if that's just that arm. No, it's not. So you can kind of hear, and I hope you guys are hearing this on camera. You hear that? There's no ratchets in these arms, so I don't know what that's about. I'm not a huge fan of that. In terms of posability, uh, it does kind of stop a little bit, but I don't think you can really complain about that. You're getting at least 90 there. Um, just really weird. I'm curious about these shoulder joints now. Ooh, those are very tight, guys. I mean, this is kind of normal with these Captain America suits. They're not very posable in the shoulder area because the suit is really tight there. Um, that's kind of no exception here. I can't really get it much higher than that, and I'm not going to push it on my personal copy, but that's unfortunate. Ab crunch. Uh, you get a little bit. Again, it's kind of difficult because this suit is very thick, but you do get a little bit, and now we rock them back. Uh, not much of anything there, so can't expect a lot of posability out of this guy in the upper torso area. Uh, let's see if we can move our legs forward from the hip joints. Very, very tight, guys. Very, very tight. I don't remember if the normal end game cap was this tight in the uh, waist area, but definitely really tight here. And I imagine, yeah, it's about the same there, guys. Again, I'm not going to push it, but trust me when I say it's very tight here in the joint area. I think probably the loosest joints here are going to be the knee joints. Whoops. Yeah, I mean, that's really the loosest area in terms of the joint. Uh, obviously, it's going to be the same on the other side. 
uh, a bit unfortunate, especially if you like going crazy with your poses. Me personally on my caps, I don't. But honestly, the suit is very, very restrictive, and I believe that the Endgame cap, as far as I remember, it was very similar to this because it is almost the identical suit material. So that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, this is a cloth here, so it does make it kind of easier to pose. But again, I'm not a huge fan of how these joints feel personally. But that's basically it for the figure in terms of articulation and the, the small, fine details. Uh, one thing I did forget, we got to, of course, do our tread here. We always like looking at the tread. That looks very nice, as always. A very nice boot pattern indeed. Uh, I always hate to see that uh, branding on the bottom, but I know there's some requirements there, so I can't be too upset about that. And I, I don't think I showed off the boots enough, so why don't we do that before we kind of move on to the next segment of the video. Really, really nice. So far, guys, I really am liking what I'm seeing. It's just, again, the articulation is not great on this figure. Uh, but next, guys, we're actually going to do something different in this video, and we're going to compare the stealth suit Captain America to the 2012 and the first Endgame release to see how they stack up to each other. So I'll be right back with those figures. Before we bring all three figures close up and kind of compare the details, I wanted to show you all three farther away so we can get a better look at the proportions and the suits as a whole. Of course, on the left, we have the first release of the Endgame Captain America. Absolutely stunning figure, and seeing it in this light makes me really love this figure even more next to these other guys. In the middle, we have the absolutely ever so beautiful 2012 cap, aka America's ass. This is not the first release of this figure, but this is kind of a beefed up release because it was re-released for Endgame with some extra accessories. You can see he has the Loki staff in his hand, and he also comes with an awesome little kind of pelican case that the staff goes in. And right next to him, of course, we have the topic of this video, which is the Stealth Suit Cap 2.0. I'm sure you can see right off the bat, the Endgame Captain America first release and the Stealth Suit Cap have very similar proportions and very similar outfits in a lot of ways. But enough talk, let me move them closer up so we can kind of compare the details. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit and we'll see where we can find some similarities and maybe where we can find some differences as well. Alright guys, in terms of the close-ups for the 2012 cap, my main concern is really comparing the shield and the head sculpt because those are the really the only same accessories that compare to the stealth suit Captain America. Um, so I want to kind of compare these head sculpts here. Um, as I suspected, this is an identical head sculpt. Um, apart from some changes in the paint apps, I can't really see much of a difference personally. If you guys are spotting anything that I'm not seeing, certainly let me know, but to me, being that I'm behind the camera, they look almost identical. It's definitely the same head sculpt, I can firmly say that. Um, but of course, no complaints there, and especially if you don't have the 2012 cap, this is an amazing head sculpt to have, so this looks really, really good. And finally, the other thing I wanted to compare would be the shield. And you can see they're basically identical here as well. I think there's some minor changes here and there. You can almost see on the, the 2012 cap, you can see that little uh, kind of brushed aluminum look on the silver ring on this one you do not have that but apart from that they look very very similar of course there's a bit of a variation in some of the coloring but very very similar indeed um but yeah that's really all i wanted to compare in, in terms of the 2012 cap if you wanted to see them both next to each other close up you could see right there uh this one is obviously much beefier He's definitely put in some work in the weight room between the 2012 and this Endgame stealth suit figure here. Um, but also the uh, suit looks to be a bit more padded as well. So that contributes to the bulk in my opinion. But let's move the 2012 cap out of the way. Sorry about the cut guys, somebody was knocking on the door. Uh, but here we go. I just wanted to compare the close-ups of the helmeted sculpt on both the stealth suit 2.0 and the Endgame first release Captain America. You could see it's basically identical. It almost looks like the flesh tone on the first release Endgame is a little bit darker, but apart from that, we even have kind of like similar weathering details on the helmets. You can see your side, kind of the top portion there. Very, very similar. And you guys saw in the far away shot, the proportions are almost identical. And I think the suit's very similar apart from some different uh, pieces here and there and some different coloring, of course. Now I did want to test this really quick and sorry I didn't take the accessories off. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to get that shield on as I mentioned earlier. I wanted to test this arm out because I can't remember. Yeah, see this feels different. This doesn't have that weird like clicky point that's not a ratcheted joint but wants to be a ratcheted joint. I don't know, I find that very odd. Again, this one, if I put this guy down and pick up the self suit again, and I'm hoping you guys can hear this once again.
Yeah, you can definitely hear it. It's like a weird stopping point, and it's about right there. And the other suit does not have that, but I will say, um, in terms of the articulation here, it's definitely thinner on the stealth suit. The articulation is definitely better because you can see this really gets stopped about there. So kudos to that for the articulation, but once again, uh, it's very limited on these suits. But now that I'm holding them next to each other, I could definitely feel a difference in how thick the material is. This is still a very thick material, but this is actually quite thicker. So, so I got to give credit to this one for how thin the material is in comparison. For the belts, you can see that they are similar, but not the same. There are some changes there. Um, in terms of the pants area, you can see a totally different design between the two, which is nice to see. And even the knee pads are different. I didn't know that. Uh, it looks like we do have the exact same boots, which is not very surprising. Both have that same split cut design. Um, and that's about it in terms of the comparison between the two. Uh, just for comparison's sake, I will grab the other shield. Of course, this is not the battle-worn, awesome-looking battle damage shield that we have here. Uh, this one also comes with the shield split into pieces after Thanos kind of cut him down as he was fighting him. Um, but I just wanted to show you a comparison of the two. This is basically a weathered version of this one here. Um, but that's it for the comparison, guys. That's really all I wanted to look at between these two. But let's jump to the showcase segment of this video. We're back. Let's get into my final thoughts on the Stealth Suit 2.0 Captain America by Hot Toys, exclusive to Sideshow at only 300 pieces. But before we dive in, I just want to say, guys, I wasn't very pleased with how this release went down for everybody. It's very unfortunate when you try to go for something that you want to purchase and you don't have a fair shake at it because the website is not cooperating. I was lucky enough to get in right before that happened, but I do feel for my friends who weren't able to pick it up. Sideshow, if you're watching this, I just want to let you know that I think you should implement a queue system for releases like this. Sneaker selling websites have done it. Shop Disney does it for their limited edition lightsaber sets and such sometimes. So definitely consider doing that in the future. And you'll avoid not giving everybody a fair shake at it. When all of the bots and all of the people are flooding the website at one time, the queue system, slowly letting people in in the order that they arrive just makes a lot more sense. I don't know how difficult that will be for you guys to implement. However, that is my suggestion personally. Uh, but with all that aside, guys, let's get into the figure. I do think this one was a bit overpriced at the retail price of $320. Um, he really didn't come with that much to justify that price tag. When we look at recent releases or recent pre-orders that have gone up, the price just doesn't line up. I think $320 is a little much. Um, but that being said, I am happy that I got it at retail. Uh, unfortunately, this one's being scalped like crazy on eBay and Mercari, even on Facebook. So... Uh, guys, I would just wait and let the dust settle a little bit. Don't start paying crazy prices for this. Uh, we're going to talk about the comparison in a little bit between the other two Endgame Captain Americas, and that might ease your mind a little bit. Um, but with that being said, I do think this is a beautiful figure. As I mentioned in the review, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the body. I don't think the joints are quite up to par, in my opinion, especially for $320. It's got that weird clicking sound, but it's not actually ratcheted. Not sure what they did there. Uh, however, I do think overall the figure looks fantastic, but also, as I mentioned in my video, the poseability is an issue. And it was an issue with the previous Captain Americas, especially that first release, Endgame Captain America. You just kind of have to expect that when purchasing these Captain America figures. They're not very poseable, unfortunately. However, I do think you can get some decent poses out of them. You just have to work at it. If you're a newer collector, just have some patience and be very careful when you're posing it. Uh, I always say try to pinch that fabric as you're bending the joint. It kind of helps you manipulate the joint a little bit because sometimes that fabric is so close to the skin, it does tend to pinch in the joint. So just be very careful with that and use that tip that may help you as you're posing them. Um, but with posability aside, again, he does look fantastic. The materials used are great. They are a nice thick cloth material with a nice design on them. I think overall, this is a slight upgrade over the original Endgame Captain America uh, in terms of the details and the posability. Even though he doesn't pose that much better, he is a bit more posable. And like I mentioned in the review, the material is a bit thinner, so that does aid in the posability. And as you saw in the video, he can barely bend his arm fully to 90. So there is an improvement there with this new Captain America. And again, that issue with the clicking inside the elbow joint on the stealth suit, I don't know if that's just me, but I did experience that, so I did want to mention that to you guys. Um, another complaint I have is I wish the Thanos gauntlet was uh, able to be attached to a Thanos body. I think that's a bit of a miss for them. They included the accessory that a lot of us would want to throw 
on a custom Thanos or something, and uh, they didn't put a peg hole in it. So those who are customizers, I'm sure you could figure that out very easily. But for the average collector, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, with that being said, it does look pretty good in my opinion. Um, is it a bit on the plasticier side? Yes, but it does look really nice. So overall, that is kind of like the shining accessory, obviously, for the set. And I am pleased with it. I just think it's definitely a miss that they did not include that peg hole there. So uh, for future reference, Hot Toys, again, you may or may not ever watch this. But if you are, uh, give us options, you know. Um, in terms of the amount of hands he includes, I do think they could always include more, as I always say. But I do think they included enough with this set to where you can pose him with everything that he comes with. I would have liked a hand where he's kind of pinching that compass in his hand where he has that Peggy Carter photo stored. That would have been nice, but again, he does for the most part come with all the hands that you really need for this set. That's just a nitpick in my opinion. Overall, I do think this is a great figure. Uh, however, for those of you that missed out, again, don't run and spend all this money on this figure. When comparing it to the other two Endgame Captain America releases, that kind of put it in perspective for me where I'm like, this is a great figure, but it's not anything special. They didn't reinvent the wheel just because this is a limited 300-piece release in the U.S. through Sideshow. That does not mean that you have to have it or that you're missing out on anything special. It's just a different suit. If you love the stealth suit, I can understand why you would really want this because it is an upgrade over the previous stealth suit release. However, I don't think at all that it makes your previous Endgame Captain Americas obsolete. And you could probably see that for yourself in the video. I know I had some close-up shots because I wanted to compare individual details, but in that far back shot where they're next to each other, you could really see that the proportions on the end game first release Captain America and on this new stealth suit Captain America are very similar. The 2012 obviously is a bit skinnier because it's a different type of suit, but those two figures are absolutely fantastic, and Sideshow has just been throwing deals at us basically every week on those two figures. So if you missed out on this stealth suit, Fill that open wound with a purchase of either the 2012 and or that original Endgame Captain America release. Or, if you're crazy like me, just buy both of them. Because they're both fantastic. Especially that 2012 suit, guys. Those colors are absolutely beautiful. I don't think cameras do it justice. So, that is my review on the Stealth Suit 2.0 Captain America. Again, I think it's awesome. It does not come without its detractors. Again, the price and some minor details here and there I'm not a huge fan of. But overall, I'm very happy to have it and to complete my Endgame Captain America trio. Um, but again, I wouldn't be too upset if you didn't end up getting this one. Uh, there's plenty of options available on Sideshow and other sites in the U.S. Uh, where you can purchase that 2012 and or that first release Endgame Captain America. Uh, guys, so sorry that it took me so long to put out another video. Uh, you can't tell, but I have done some major cleaning in the collection room because I'm about to get rid of these detoffs, so... Stay tuned, guys. These detoffs are actually going to my buddy Chris over at Collecting Madness. Um, he's going to be taking all these detoffs off my hands, and I am building three custom displays similar to a Maju K style case uh, for this collection room just because I want to switch it up, and also it offers me a lot more space for my ever-growing collection, as you guys know. So uh, after that, after I do complete that process, I will be finally doing a collection tour. And for those of you that don't know, I don't just collect hot toys. I also collect... 3.75 Star Wars, Black Series, Vintage Collection Vehicles, all kinds of stuff. So I'm really excited to show that to you guys once everything is complete. Uh, just bear with me as I go through these renovations over the next few weeks to a month. It's going to take a little bit, but I'm really, really excited to get that done. It's going to definitely amplify all of the content on the channel having this new setup. So I'm really excited for that. Also, guys, as always, on Thursdays, we go live at 7 o'clock p.m. EST, so keep an eye on the channel for that. Of course, if you're not subscribed, that's another reason to subscribe, to get notified for when we go live. Um, but that's all I got for you tonight. I do have another review that I'll be filming this week. It is not of a six-scale figure, but it is of something really cool, especially if you're a Star Wars fan, so keep an eye out for that, guys. But have a wonderful day, everybody. Have a great week. And Christmas is right around the corner, so it's a very joyful time, especially for us Hot Toys collectors. We're like, oh, man, finally, somebody's going to help me purchase something. You know, everybody's asking for Hot Toys for Christmas. So I uh, hope you guys get all the gifts you could ever want. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys. I will see you next time.